Welcome to Tech Collective. Today, we bring you the 10 most expensive military drones in the world. Before we continue, please press the subscribe button and the bell notification icon to receive regular updates from us whenever we upload a video. Number 10 is the IAI ATIN, and it costs $35 million. This is a newer version of the IAI Heron. It is a large drone shrouded in mystery. We say this because its capabilities and characteristics have not been verified. What we do know is that it has a very high ceiling, a very long lifespan, and a proven beast in terms of its ability to carry ammo. It is reported to fly at 45,000 feet for 72 hours and can carry a wide range of ammunition. With a length of approximately 45 feet and a wingspan of 86 feet, it can take off with a maximum mass of nearly 12,000 pounds and reach speeds north of 250 miles per hour. The $55 million Norinco Skysaker is at number 9. China's Norinco, primarily recognized for the production of its small and armored vehicles, Skysaker is leading a new unmanned aerial vehicle, UCAV. Undoubtedly, the UAV is influenced by the successful U.S. General Atomics MQ-9 Reaper line. The Reaper itself was inspired by an unarmed Predator. The Norinco product truly showcases many of its American design elements, including the onion noise, straight-wing main planes, a rear, a fully retractable landing gear, and outward-pointing vertical tail fins. The Skysaker is designed with gun-carrying capabilities in mind from the outset, with stores that will be installed along with battle points in the usual way. With such a tire, Skysaker will support the launching and launching of air-to-ground missiles as well as precisely controlled bombs. Chinese arms manufacturer Norinco typically shoots into armored vehicles and small arms. However, they are the latest UAV project represented by the all-new Skysaker. China hopes to release Skysaker in the next few years, and the drone is reportedly also interested in Pakistan. Norinco Skysaker is freely located at Chengdu Pterodactyl. This intelligence surveillance role will be enhanced by offensive capabilities that are similarly not publicly known. At number 8, we have MQ-9 Reaper that costs $64.2 million. The MQ-9 Reaper is an armed, multifaceted, medium-altitude, long-lasting remote-controlled aircraft that is used primarily against dynamic execution targets and secondly as intelligence. Depending on its considerably short-time wide-range sensors, multi-mode communication suite, and precision weapons, it offers a unique ability to strike, coordinate, and monitor against high-value, fleeting, and time-sensitive targets. Cutters can also perform the following missions and tasks. Reconnaissance, surveillance, air support, combat search and rescue, accurate shot, buddy lace, convoy ride preview, target development, and terminal air guidance. The capabilities of the MQ-9 are specifically qualified to conduct regular combat operations in support of combat commander targets. Representing the ninth iteration of the MQ series of remotely piloted aircraft, the MQ-9 Reaper is an armed, multi-purpose, medium-altitude, long-endured remotely piloted aircraft aimed primarily at dynamic execution targets and, secondly, at intelligence. The mower is made of the MQ-1 Predator and can be transported on the C-130 Hercules USA. There are currently 93 MQ-9 Reapers in service with the Air Force. It has a wingspan of 66 feet, is 36 feet long, flies up to 1,150 miles, and has a service ceiling of 50,000 feet to the north. It entered service in 2007. The $80 million EAD Talarian is next, $80 million. The European Defense and Aerospace Company, or EADS for short, started producing Talarian in 2008. A mock-up version was shown at the Paris Air Show in 2009, followed by its first flight in 2015 and its official launch in 2018. EADS Talarian is a male UAV that has main tasks in SRI but can attach useful tasks if necessary. Talarian measures 32 feet long with a monstrous wingspan of 96 feet. It reaches a top speed of 400 miles and has a range of almost 10,000 miles, with a service ceiling of 50,000 feet. 
Number six is the Turkish Aerospace Anka that costs $100 million. According to Turkish Aerospace, Anka is an advanced medium altitude, male, unnamed aerial vehicle system, conducts day and night reconnaissance, all weather reconnaissance, target detection identification, EO payload intelligence missions, IR and SAR, and autonomous flight capabilities, including atomic takeoff. The most expensive, this was complied by the military machine. The aircraft was named after a phoenix-like mythical creature called Zumrud u Anka, that is Anka Kusu in Turkish. Number five is the MQ-4C Triton for $120 million USD per unit. This is an American high-altitude, durable, unmanned aerial vehicle UAV designed for the US Navy as an observation aircraft. Together with its associated ground control station, an unmanned aerial vehicle system, UAS, Triton builds on the elements of the RQ-4 Global Hawk. The changes include airframe and sash reinforcement, de-icing systems, and lightning protection systems. These capabilities allow the aircraft to descend through cloud layers to get a closer view of ships and other destinations at sea when needed. Sensor package allows ships to be tracked by gathering information about their speed, location, and classification. The MQ-4C System Development and Demonstration SDD aircraft were delivered in 2012 and the MQ-4C is expected to be operational by the end of 2015 with a total of 67 aircraft to be procured. Based on the RQ-4 Global Hawk, which you will read about soon, the Northrop Gunman MQ-4C Triton is the number one UAV in the US. Up next is the number four is the RQ-4 Global Hawk costing $131 million per unit. The Northrop Grumman RQ-4 Global Hawk is a high-altitude, remotely piloted observation aircraft. Originally, it was designed by Ryan Aeronautical, which is now part of Northrop Grumman. It was known as Tier 2 Plus during development. The Global Hawk performs similar tasks as the Lockheed U-2. The RQ-4 provides a very extension overview and systematic monitoring with high-resolution synthetic aperture radar SAR, and long-range electro-optical infrared or EO-IR sensors that remain in target areas for long periods. It can survey the terrain of up to 40,000 square miles or 100,000 square kilometers per day, an area the size of South Korea or Iceland. It is used as a high-altitude, long-endurance platform that covers the spectrum of intelligence capabilities to support forces in global military operations. As a result of the cost overrun, the original plan to procure 63 aircraft was reduced to 45, and in 2013, a proposal was introduced to plan 30 signal intelligence versions of Unit 21. The initial flight cost of the first 10 aircraft in 1994 was $10 million. By 2001, it had risen to $60.9 million, and then in 2013, to $131.4 million flight cost. The U.S. Navy uses the Global Hawk as its MQ-4C Triton maritime surveillance platform. You've just read about the Navy's adaption, but here's the original made for the Air Force. Interesting fact, R is a scout designation from the Department of Defense, and Q means an unmanned aerial vehicle system. Next is the MQ-25 Stingray, which costs $201 million per unit. The revolutionary MQ-25 Stingray will be the first airfield drone in history to have an initial operating status of 2024. 2018, the US Navy has provided $804 million to the Boeing company, delivery and support of four unmanned aircraft MQ-25A. In addition to making the MQ-25 look as sleek as possible, it will become a target that very few drones will ever have in any army. The MQ-25 Stingray will carry about 15,000 pounds of fuel and drive a maximum distance of almost 600 miles. The list of the most expensive unmanned military aircraft was compiled by the military machine. Number two is the BAE Systems Taranis that cost $206 million per unit. The Celtic Thunder God Taranis is the namesake of this still evolving UCAV from BA Systems. The drone, once operational, will rely on the secret and payload expected in 2030. 
the Rolls-Royce Adore engine, which is similar to that used in the Dassault and Euro N, will give it a speed of 700 miles per hour. Its distance is unknown. Its flight ceiling should be about 50,000 feet. Its dimensions are about 40 feet long, and its wings are 33 feet long. Number one is the $405 million Northrop Grumman X-47B. Maybe one day we'll look at the X-47B as a pioneer, if not a guinea pig. The unmanned combat air system was designed to help the U.S. Navy look decades ahead into the entire fleet of UAVs being demonstrated by the carriers. Designers call it a tailless, fighter-sized, unmanned aerial vehicle. He has already completed his first flight. The first autonomous refueling from the tanker Omega K707, the first launch and landing of a nuclear aircraft carrier. The prototypes were to be retired and shown at the museum, but the Department of Defense extended their lifespan for further testing. The X-47B is 38 feet long, 62 feet long with 31 feet bent, and can reach speeds of 700 miles per hour. Thanks for watching the video. We'd love having you comment down below which part you like the most. Also, click on the thumbs up button if you like the video.